Rats and mice are among many rodents that could invade your property, but they share some traits that cause people to confuse one for the other. So in this video, we'll go over the differences between common rat and mouse species that most homeowners will see, so you can get control of your rodent infestation fast. To learn more about rat and mouse control and shop our featured products, click the icon in the top right of the screen, or click the links in the description below. House mice are small rodents that take refuge in our homes in search of food and shelter. They grow to be up to 4 inches in length, including the tail. Mice tails are thin and slightly hairy, and they have larger, floppier ears for their head size. They'll seek out enclosed nesting sites throughout your home and settle near food sources, such as the garage or pantry. Mice typically forage within 25 feet of their nests, so if you've spotted mouse activity, know the nest is nearby. When checking your home for nests, look for piles of soft material like paper, plastic, hair, fabric, fiberglass insulation, and plant fiber. Rodents eat and defecate indiscriminately, so you'll find droppings wherever mice have been. Mouse droppings are about the size of rice grains, no larger than a quarter of an inch, and you'll find them in large quantities, since a single mouse will make about 40 to 100 droppings per day. Norway rats prefer to live outdoors, but can forage for food indoors if they find access. Norway rats will grow to be about 18 inches in length, including the tail. Their tails are notably thicker than a mouse's tail, and they have a scaly appearance. Rats also have notably smaller ears in proportion to their head size when compared to mouse ears. Norway rats will dig burrows underground along foundations or beneath shrubbery. During fall and winter, Norway rats will seek refuge in basements and forage for food indoors. Keep in mind that rats can squeeze through openings the size of a quarter and are known to chew through dense material like plastic pipes or even bricks. Rat droppings are significantly larger than mice droppings, with Norway rat droppings getting as big as three quarters of an inch, and they have blunt ends. Though larger in size, rat droppings will be found in smaller quantities as each rat will produce about 50 droppings per day. Roof rats prefer the safety of higher elevations like in trees or attics. They grow to be up to 16 inches in length, including the tail, so they're smaller than Norway rats. Similar to Norway rats, roof rats have thicker, scaly tails, and their ears are proportionately smaller for their head size when compared to mouse ears. Roof rats utilize high elevation structures like pipes or fence rails to move around and avoid predators. Unlike Norway rats, roof rats build nests among tree lines, attics, utility lines, and other high elevation structures. Roof rats will typically hoard food and keep stashes of nuts and seeds in their nests. Roof rats leave droppings as big as half an inch in size with pointed ends. Like Norway rats, roof rats will leave droppings in smaller quantities as a single rat will produce about 50 droppings per day. Once you've identified the rodent that's invaded your home, your next step is to treat the infestation and prevent your rodents from coming back. Pair rodenticide bait blocks like eradication with bait stations to start controlling your rodent population. Use easy set snap traps to control rodents indoors and outdoors. Set glue traps along entry points and finally, stuff voids with copper mesh to deny rodents entry to your home or structure. For a more detailed explanation on how to use these products, check out our full guide online. Just click the icon in the top right corner, or check out the link in the description below. Rats and mice are disgusting pests, but you can control them yourself with these professional-grade products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn. We guarantee these products will control rats or mice around your property, and we offer same-day shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you liked this how-to guide, please share. If you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.